Kathleen McAuliffe, this is your brain on parasites, how tiny creatures manipulate our behavior and shape society. Embark on a fascinating and revealing journey into the world of parasites and their impact on human behavior and society. In Kathleen McAuliffe's book, This Is Your Brain on Parasites. Learn about the intricate battles between humans and parasites that have shaped our evolution, both physically and behaviorally. Discover how these tiny creatures exploit their host's body, manipulate their behavior to ensure survival, and even exert influence over our emotions. After diving into this summary, you'll gain a deeper understanding of the hidden world of parasites and their crucial, yet often overlooked, role in our lives. The Hidden War Humans have been in constant conflict since time immemorial, from opposing tribes to warring countries to contradictory religions. However, one deadly conflict that has gone unnoticed for thousands of years is the hidden war taking place on a microscopic level. This war is between humans and parasites, viruses, worms, microbes, and bacteria, and has influenced the evolution of both human physique and behavior. Parasites possess a remarkable capacity for survival, given their abundance, ability to reproduce quickly, and adaptability. While the majority of parasites may die, a few survivors can mutate, infiltrate our system, and take advantage of the habitat our body offers, as the bubonic plague, smallpox, and the Spanish flu showed. This article explores the hidden war, highlighting parasites' intelligence that has helped them outsmart human defenses. Parasites, Manipulators of Behaviors Parasites have the ability to manipulate the behavior of their hosts, including humans. They reproduce and complete their life cycle by changing the behavior of animals, like the brine shrimp and flamingos. They also alter human behavior and cause diseases like the guinea worm. Luckily, the guinea worm disease has been eradicated in modern times. Parasitic Mind Control Zombies are not just a Hollywood fantasy. Some living creatures can become zombies by parasitic mind control, such as the jewel wasp that gains control of its victim's brain by injecting poison into a roach's brain. Once controlled, the roach can only move when instructed by the wasp. The wasp then leads the roach to a burrow, lays eggs upon it, and feeds on it for six days. Even humans can be affected by parasites like the roundworm toxacra, which can enter the human body and impair cognitive functions. However, not all parasites are harmful as some of them are a natural part of our organism. Your gut is your second brain. The human body is home to microbes that live in the stomach. These stomach-dwelling parasites are referred to as the second brain, and consist of the enteric nervous system, which has more neurons than the human spine. The genetic material of these parasites is 150 times larger than our own, and they release chemicals like dopamine and serotonin that influence our emotions. A massive nerve connects this system directly to the brain, allowing these bacteria to communicate with it. Experiments show that the microorganisms in the human body can affect our emotions, indicating the positive impact of stomach-dwelling parasites on the brain. Cultural Evolution and Parasitic Infections the role of parasites in shaping culture according to modern biology and psychology. Darwin's theory of evolution explained biological change through natural selection, where the most adapted species were the ones to survive. Yet, the evolution of culture still remains unclear. Modern biologists and psychologists have found that parasites may have had a significant role in shaping culture. Parasites seem to affect cultural behavior, as seen in collectivist cultures that have a stronger emphasis on the group over the individual, clustered around the equator where parasitic infections are high. The study also revealed that people living in equatorial regions prefer spicier food, which has properties to kill bacteria and prevent infection. Furthermore, psychologists found correlations between the history of parasitic infections in regions and their tendency to create cultures that favor stable commitments and ritualistic practices such as hand washing. Regions with a history of parasitic infections also tend to produce more introverted cultures that are resistant to mingling with others, to avoid getting infected. Thus, 
parasites play a role in shaping and influencing cultural practices and customs. We have evolved to avoid getting infected by parasites by steering clear of anything that may harbor them, leading to the practice of strict sexual rules and preferences for particular colors and smells that indicate a lack of infection. The possibility of parasites influencing our culture sheds new light on why we behave the way we do. From influencing human behavior and emotions to defining societal norms and even shaping cultural aspects such as food preferences, parasites have played a significant role in shaping human societies. Kathleen McAuliffe demonstrates that these microscopic creatures are far more powerful and adaptable than we could ever imagine. As we grow to better understand the depth of their influence on our lives, the line between human and parasite blurs, shedding light on the complex nature of human evolution and the inextricable relationship between hosts and parasites. Mind-bending and enlightening, this book urges us to re-evaluate our perspectives on these tiny manipulators.